this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another video, people. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and everything. Um, also, I got another channel. You can follow me there. This is my other social media channel. Um, DC Channel TV. Links below, people. Subscribe. Um, you can follow me over there. We're talking about investing, all kinds of stuff and everything. So with that said, I appreciate the comments. Appreciate all the new subscribers, people. Appreciate we've been building the numbers. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate the people been sticking, um, you know, through the thick and the thin, the good and the bad with this channel and stuff. I appreciate y'all. Um, you know, so I can't thank y'all enough. And, you know, without y'all, this channel is nothing. So a lot of people don't um, put that in perspective, but I do over here. So with that said, we're going to talk about ammo buyers, people. As ammo buyers, people, uh, it's a lot of things that we need to be aware of. And things that, you know, our everyday life and stuff that people don't think about as gun owners and stuff that we need to put in perspective. Because there have been a lot of laws that has been passed in a lot of these states that we have been going over in the firearm and the two-way community that affect legal gun owners, legal ammo buyers and stuff. And so I want to pull an article just to show you, you know, we spent a lot of time buying ammo people, trying to find that great price on bulk or we'll be buying it by the box or whatever the case may be, ordering online. We we do a lot of stuff to get the ammo and stuff that we want. And a lot of us, I've been buying ammo for years. I know a lot of y'all been buying ammo for years and stuff. Um, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. You know, it, it takes time for us to build this ammo like we want it. And so one article that jumped at me are many that I'll be looking at. That I wanted to go over, you know, this was a guy who um, collected ammo for 50 years, people. So the ammo was seized from this guy. And, you know, I talked about red flag laws and stuff and a lot of your state laws that you need to pay attention to that can affect you. And it could affect you dearly. And, you know, we see seizures in the I see seizures on the news headlines all the time. People ammo seizure, firearm seizure. You see it all the time. But, you know. This particular uh, MOCs is something that, you know, as ammo buyers, we need to be aware of. So me, uh, to my, I'm not in the box, people. I like to bring things that's flying under the radar, that's not getting no attention. And if I just get one or two people, if I get the message to one or two people, I did my job, people. I don't have to have 50,000 or 1,000. I don't need all that. If I just reach one or two people and tell people what's going on and they can look out for this, then I did my job and stuff like that. You know, so right now, this person had their MOCs. Now, this person spent 50 years collecting ammo and stuff using hard-earned hard -earned money for 50 years. So in this particular case, um, this person had 50 years of ammo and stuff like that. And what happened was he decided to sell a piece of land or something that he had. And so while he was selling his land, someone helped him find a buyer to buy his land. So a, a, a situation happened where I guess the person that helped find a buyer to buy his land um, had some, some issues and problems, whatever the um, case may be. And so this person made accusations that the person who had this ammo that he collected for 50 years was sending threats and stuff because it's, he's, she, this person said that this person was sending threats is it calls what we talk about red flag law is that it calls the police to go to his home and seize his ammo and stuff like that. And seize a lot of ammo, thousands of rounds of ammo from this person. Um, so the person said that he didn't send no threats, whatever the case may be. He didn't do none of the accusation that the person, you know, calls and stuff like that. And because of the accusations, the red flag laws, what that we talk about, you got a lot of homeowners and gun owners that, being firearm seized because they're in relationships with a girlfriend, wife, or whoever the case may be. And that's why I tell people, you got to walk a thin line as a legal gun owner in this country. And so because of this and what happened to this person, I think this was in Australia, I want to say, but this was in Australia. But similar laws like red flag laws here in um, New United States, they're similar. You got people ammo getting seized and stuff. So this person ammo was seized. Now, once this person was cleared, from all these accusations and everything. Now, the police claim that they gave them back all the stuff that they took, but then the, the ammo buyer, the ammo the owner of the ammo said that he didn't get all the stuff that supposed to been taken. He got some, but not all. And so this has been happening here in our country. 
You have legal ammo buyers and gun owners who property been seized because somebody made, somebody said that, oh, he sent threats or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, this person might have some, some, some issues and stuff and cause these seizures. These are the red flag laws that have been put in place to confiscate ammo and gun owners to cap, you know, just confiscate, you know, gun owners and um, things in this country. This is something to be aware of people. Now, this is a prime example where I've been seeing a lot in the daggone headlines. And, you know, a lot of people are not talking about it. But as, as legal gun owners and ammo buyers, whatever the case may be, these things can happen to you. So, you know, you got to walk a fine line as legal, a legal gun owner. I say it's hard to be a legal gun owner than to be an illegal gun owner or illegal ammo buyer, whatever the case may be. Because we got so many laws that we have to walk a fine line. And a lot of people don't talk about that too much. So, you know, to stay legal, do the right thing is not easy, people. It's so many things that you have to avoid, so many obstacles that you got to go over so you won't get caught in these traps that have been set in a lot of these states and everything to catch you. You lose your Second Amendment. You know, you lose your firearm. You lose your ammo and stuff like that. So I just want to bring that to the light, people, that, you know, this thing can happen. So, you know, we have to be very cautious of things that we're saying, uh, you know, people that you're interacting with and stuff like that, because these things can be used against you, even if you didn't say it at all, like this person. These were lies. And then he had to go prove that he didn't say none of these things to get his items back. I had went over on my channel, gun owners who, who guns were, was, were confiscated because or a wife or a girlfriend, whatever the case may be, said it. This person threatened me and they go seize all this person's firearms. But most gun owners lose in court is because they don't have money to get a lawyer. They don't have the money. So the firearms get confiscated. They don't never get it back because they don't have the money to fight the case in court. So, you know, we have to look at these things now. And there's a lot of things that I'm going to bring. I'm going to be talking about that a lot of people is not covering people. So this is just a glimpse of some of the stuff that's happening to legal gun owners, people. So, uh, people walk a fine line, pay attention to everything you do. People don't take your second amendment for granted. Cause you only get it once. Once you lose it, that's it. People it's very rare, very rare that someone get their second amendment back. And if you do, it's going to cost you a lot of money and everything. And a lot of headache and stuff like that, as we have some gun owners going through and everything. So remember that people. So I just want to bring this case to you and everything, whether you buy farms or ammo people, Hey, there are laws out there that you can lose it all and everything. So with that said, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.